If you put your wallet down at work, you certainly expect it to stay there until you're back. You don't expect someone to steal it, then charge $6,000 on your credit card. What happened to a triad nurse and police say these two women racked up the charges at a triad Walmart. These pictures are from store surveillance. Tonight, WFMY News 2's Jess Winters is investigated. Ellen Burris's wallet was stolen from a nursing station while she cared for cancer patients at Forsyth Medical Center. One of the persons of interest in the case appears to be wearing medical scrubs. When she got home, she couldn't find it. So Aaron Burris's wife Ellen initially thought she misplaced her wallet Saturday. Turns out it was stolen. We saw all the fraudulent charges on both her debit card and her credit card. Someone swiped her cards and used them on a $6,000 shopping spree, buying Visa gift cards. She feels violated. Winston-Salem police say the wallet was stolen from one of the nursing stations at Forsyth Medical Center, where Ellen works as a nurse. It wasn't like it was sitting out on a bench where, you know, anybody could get to it. Burris says it was a punch to the gut because while Ellen was saving lives, someone was stealing from their life savings. She's doing her job, taking care of uh, cancer patients. She's a, a nurse on the oncology floor. Police say they want to question these two women. Surveillance cameras show them in two Winston-Salem Walmart's locations where Burris's cards were used. Notice how one of them looks like she's wearing purple nurse scrubs? Police are working to figure out if she works in the medical profession, but say they're also not ruling it out as a costume. Anybody can buy scrubs and, and put them on, so we don't really know if she works there or not. Now, Burris was wondering how anyone got away with charging $6,000 on his credit cards. I talked to a Walmart spokesperson who said U.S. credit card companies don't let retailers like Walmart require ID checks as a condition of buying something.